Drake and Academic. So look, you guys had a long <coughs> talk over the weekend. Um, can you just fill us in? So last week, Ax said on the show that he heard from good sources that push <laughs> that Drake would respond to Pusha on right. Scorpion, right? This guy's face, man. Yo, get that <laughs> smirk. Every time he smirked when we told him about Drake, I feel like Pusha told him some inside joke that he laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening, man. I'm laughing at his face because he starts looking around and shit. <laughs> This guy, yeah, man. Yeah, good. My boy, that's good. So, wait, I forgot. Uh, I like that. I like the intro you're doing. Go ahead, I know, but I got, I got lost somewhere. I'm struggling Mondays. But anyway, tell us about this conversation. So, did Jay Prince lie to us? No, okay, so let me break it down. So, I got a couple sources. As you can imagine, everybody <laughs> does. <laughs> Wado got sources. you did damn but, right, but I tell my sources. No, no, no. I can't stitch on this source. They're sending me <laughs> way too too many tracks that nobody has. <laughs> so, I have I have people who send me tracks how to get it through leaks or if they're hackers. But have I you heard know. the Drake track? No, I didn't hear it. Mm. But I heard about five to ten other tracks from Drake we've never heard, including reference tracks. Now, reference tracks as in... Not people referencing for Drake, but Drake referencing for another artist. Okay. Like I heard Drake referencing for Rihanna, a song that came out though. Yeah. And I was like, damn, Drake did that? I never knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which which it does give a little different light to people who believe that Drake. You know so is mean? this what he meant by it'll all make sense? You'll hear the songs I've been writing for other people. No, 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 no. Right, not right. necessarily. <laughs> but I I heard of that trap because the person who sent me those tracks, they heard heard it. Okay, but they didn't have the song to send me and they wouldn't send me anyway. Hmm. But from what I heard, the diss track to Pusha, right, that's not going to come out, was toned down and altered to be on uh, Scorpion, mm -hmm. right? So I reported as a rumor because, again, I didn't hear the track myself. Now, Drake did reach out to me, and he said, listen, I didn't change no track at Pusha. Like, whatever that track is, that track is. If it's not going to come out, it's not going to come out. But he said, I didn't, there's no Drake responding to Pusha Good. or Scorpion coming in. Come on, man. That's good. <laughs> Relax, man. But, 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 but he did. But you know what I mean? It was the first time. It was such an honest conversation, though, because as a fan and like I got to vent to him. So you kept the same energy that you Yeah, yeah, said. because same no, because he says, I've been noticing you've been going in a lot. I could imagine watching this show. Hi, Drake. And <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go in because if it was Pusha who did the same, mm -hmm. oh, Pusha would be having a hard month. OK, I would have been clowning. <laughs> we couldn't talk about Daytona. OK, but it's the same thing I got to do with Drake, even though he's my favorite artist. And by, and by the way, fans like me, we're disappointed that a guy that we kind of believed in him, in terms of him popping that shit on records and, yo, none of these niggas want smoke when it comes to battling, we believed you. So you kind of <laughs> let us down and, you know what I mean, uh, like... What's his response to that specifically? His response is that, from an outsider, I completely understand you feel that, that way. Okay. But he said, for him, going forward, this situation with Pusha would have brought him to a dark place and a point of no return. These are exact words. And nothing would be the same. No, no. Well, again, I don't know. I don't know. And, and I did tell him, I said, listen, I said, you have your reasons, clearly, but that's those are known to us. So an outsider and, and a fan, we are going to go in on you. I'm sorry. We're going to go in on you. And he did say, listen, the, he will have answers to this whole thing when his album comes out. I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know if it's, that's a track ad pusher. I don't know if it's just a hero stuff you at. Okay, maybe maybe he did. Hold on, hold on. Shit. No, no, no. Maybe he did. But but, but like this, <laughs> if his album comes and we don't get no answers, we kill him again. Oh, no, I'm man. sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. He had that you the day. You said he ain't put nobody else on. He gonna be like, yo, act. I ain't put nobody on. Like, <laughs> Artist, <laughs> rappers. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Come on, man. I'm fucking with you. No, but but yeah. So uh, like so for me, I was like, even though I don't want to hear no diss track to push at this point. Yeah, I, I do want to hear whatever this explanation is. I'm imagining some grandiose type of thing. So June what 20 kind of explanation you know would suffice? We, you must have a theory after all this back and forth with them. What do you think it's gonna be? Literally just like I've been writing all these tracks for other people. No, well, this ain't about ghostwriting no more. So what? Like like I'm not gonna lie, and, and Wayne could chime in on this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Drake, uh, remember that line he had when he said, "How you let the the kid that's fighting." Uh, ghost riding rumors turn you into a so, ghost. Yeah. I think at this point, like, yeah, some people, people are going to think what they want to think. Mm -hmm. So some people think that, yo, he's using writers, and some people be like, yo, he worked with people for certain tracks, but he does a lot of shit himself. So your level of credit to him, I think is already, like, set in stone for each individual person. Yeah. If you don't think he write, you don't think he write. Right. If you think he writes some of the shit, you think he writes some of the shit. If you think he's never used a writer... That's what you think. That's so I don't think he's trying to change that perception. I, I feel else. like, 
And, and I even said to him, I, I said, yeah, I'm a little disappointed when, yeah, a homie might have hit you below the belt because let's keep it real, right? The thing here is this exposal over the, yo, you're hiding a child and you're, <laughs> you know what I mean, love your baby mama even though she was a porn star, all that type of stuff. I think that's the thing that would bring him to a dark place if I'm interpreting it, yeah. right? Now, what could be the explanation of that, right? I don't know, honestly. I don't know how you explain a rapper exposing you as, as as a father and calling you a deadbeat and you explain to the public. I'm a superstar. I wanted my kids to have some privacy. I think there's some ways around it. Yeah. Did you wish him happy Father's Day? Nah, man. I, I told him to pull up on Fortnite. So, I, I, I don't, so. No, because I don't want to get into all that. With, and also, you see, like, we make, like, light jokes over here about it. Like, that's a real situation for him. I'm not going to, like, toy with him. Like, yeah, that's one, one, like, one thing. Happy Father's never, Day, Drake, you know what I mean? One thing I, never, <laughs> one thing I never wanted to jump in on was the whole father's thing or whatever. Um, but what I will say is that how I view Drake is this. I think that he's, like, he's going to go down as one of the greatest artists ever, right? Mm -hmm. But as in terms of rapping, like, as, as terms of rapping, his pen has been in, wait a second, his pen has been in question since the whole, you know, the meek shit. And I think that Drake just takes an idea and makes it a bigger idea. Because even when you heard, like, like what was it, uh, Know Yourself? Like, that's running through the six, right? When I heard the reference for it, I was like, this is dope. But he made it sound so much bigger. Mm -hmm. Now, essentially, that's taking somebody else's shit, essentially. But I just think that every time you hear him now, like, especially after this and he didn't respond and all of that, every time you hear him now, if you do hear him say something, people are going to be like, well, who helped him with that? It's like it just opened up a door for people to always feel that. Yeah, yeah, but, but there was a time when I thought he was really bothered by it, and I think now he does. You know, I, no, I wouldn't be bothered. Listen, I wouldn't give a fuck neither. But we, we no, no, heard... but, 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 but again, and I said to him, and this was an interesting part of the conversation we had too, but um, like on the Duppy Freestyle, like, he kind of owned it. I mean, we know he did an interview, and people were like, what you mean you worked with him? Like, people were trying to figure out what that was, and he did a, another interview, which to me was horrible, where he said, listen, we I collaborated. Even though y'all hearing reference checks, I collaborated. Whatever you want to think, think. And I was like, that's bad. That's not how you respond to something that could taint your legacy. But on the Duffy Freestyle, he said, listen, he says, homie helped me with a couple of V's, but my hooks did it, my lyrics did it, my spirit did all that. So he was almost saying, fuck all that shit y'all talking yeah. about. I'm still me. Now, the conversation that me and him had and because he had, he said he said something to the effect of like I mentioned like he was that guy you get me and what I had to clarify to him was that yo all of this shit ghostwriting even the the shit versus pusher this is a legacy conversation like you're not your career ain't gonna be done like you gonna drop an album killing us with hits like you're gonna be running the charts break every streaming record right. you're gonna have Grammys all that ain't about that though but it's about it, it, it's about your legacy at this point. Where on the Mount Rushmore of hip hop you go, if you do go on it at all? Where in people's top 10, top 15, or wherever you rank at the end of, end of the day? You know what does matter? Did this nigga write his shit? Damn, how he handled himself when, when, when the pressure was on, he was in a battle. Mm. These things matter. And for, for his legacy, yeah, his legacy takes a hit with him not responding. But people and the internet have a very short memory, so. Yeah, very short To memory. be seen, you know what I mean? Lyrics yeah. matter now still, all of this matters yeah, now. In five, 10 years, kids might not know, they might not remember. I'm tired of talking about this shit with him. Word, let's move on to the next thing.